It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. With KS. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey. With KS. Good evening, good evening, good everybody evening. out yes. there. Welcome back to The Journey with KS. I'm your host, KS. And I am your co-host, owner, and we welcome you guys back live on Sony Hulk Radio. It is Sunday, March 12th. Mm-hmm. KS, how are you doing on this March Sunday? I am great. You know, it's been a great week and a great weekend, so I can't complain. What about you? I've been doing doing pretty good. Can't complain as well. We got a lot going on. And KS, mm-hmm. you are performing next week in Orlando. Where can the viewers get tickets? Get ready for Orlando. Tell them about the venue and the opening act for the show. Okay, guys. So if you are in Orlando, Florida, or near Orlando, Florida, or you know somebody near Orlando, Florida, that's right, guys. I'm going to be performing at the D3 Studio. Ah. I'm super excited and awesome. R&B sensation Panessia Young will be there. She is amazing, guys. Now, she's with Best of the Solar System Management, guys. Shout Mm -hmm. out to her manager, Steve. Yeah, Steve is super awesome, and they've been killing it. Um, You know, she's been traveling around right now performing, and I know she's got a birthday coming up. So, uh, happy early, early birthday, even though I'll say it again, and I can't wait for the show. I'm super excited. Yeah, this will be the first time we had Panessia out to perform with UKS, so that, that'll that be cool. Maybe you guys will have a, a little collab and a cover, or some kind of, you know, I don't know, Yeah, something new for the viewers. Now, you might be performing your next release. So, guys, I know what we can say. Yeah. We can say... We do have a release date Mm. for the next KS track. Oh, yeah. We can't tell you what that date is, but we do have a date for the next release. So that is going to be awesome on the journey. Now, if you want to collaborate with us, KS, on the journey, who can they reach out to send a message to to get on the journey with us? So, guys, all you have to do is, I mean, obviously you can reach out to any of our social medias, but send over an email to ksmusicmgt at gmail.com, and then Bree will get a hold of you and talk to you, and then this way uh, help you get on the journey. You guys can come on the journey for a collaboration, a shout out, or a advertisement for your business. If you want to shout out your business here on the radio, just let us know. Contact Mm Bree at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com right now. We want to give a special, special shout out to Dessert Options. Dessert Options. When you can't think about what you are going to be cooking in that kitchen Mm -hmm. and you got too much to think about and you just don't know what to do for dessert you can turn to dessert options and you can you have plenty of options lots of options what kind of options do they have chaos oh man they have rugula and cakes and cookies all sorts like banana flavor blueberry raspberry oh man they are so so good so good Chocolate. I know. Chocolate. Nuts. Nuts. All like everything. Yeah. Anything you can think of, you they want have. dessert, you got options, so make sure you guys get at Dessert Options. Now, mm-hmm. for your next dessert treat for your party or just for your evening pleasure with your family. Yes. You have to buy in bulk, though. Yes. Yeah. Lots. Lots of bulk. Lots of bulk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, KS rated our music video. Where can the viewers find that? Ooh, guys, on YouTube, KS Music. Hit that space bar in between KS and Music. The official rated our music video, guys, has been out for two months. We are coming up on that 20K mark. So I'm excited. We are almost at 100,000 streams on Spotify for rated R. So, guys, let's get it going. And speaking of that, right now, we're jumping into Rated R. 
right here on Sony Hulk Radio. Taking you home, no questions at these intentions is gold. Scoop you like ice cream, spoon you let smoke. When you see drip, like you lick off the cone. Catch me a lock when I get in the zone. Leaving you open, you won't be exposed. No time for hits, cause it's still like I sold. We make the team that be scoring them goals. Don't go and rob me, come on, so shoddy. I'll be your poppy, demon, yes, mommy, baby, you got me. One day, Bugatti, got a champagne, but yeah, maybe stopping. I'll do the crime if we do the time. Could be in my scene and have just what you like. No drama, let's ride full of tennis, no fights. Working you right, I'm loving the sights. On your rainy days, change up your mood when your vibe's not okay. And take you away when you need to escape. It's just how it goes with me on your plate. Do all my best to build, not make mistakes. Stay by my side, let's be partners, okay? And when you need help, yeah, I'll put on the cape. I need a queen, show me what that means. Float it, cause you got it. The swag style, body, the money, damn girl. Do I want it? No drama, that's right. I made it for life. Put me in it for life. was rated r make sure you guys go stream that music video where ks guys that music video was on youtube ks music hit the space bar in between ks and music and check out all the other songs on my recent album all right all right all right guys you know what time it is celebrity birthdays <laughs> We have a couple of birthdays to celebrate in music, guys. Today is Marlon Jackson's birthday. You might know him as the brother of Michael Jackson, who also performed alongside his other brothers, Jermaine and Tito and Jackie Jackson in the Jackson 5. He began performing in what would become the Jackson 5 as a percussionist. Folk singer known for hit songs like You've Got a Friend and Fire and Rain. And who was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and celebrating his 75th birthday today as well. If you guess James Taylor, you are correct. Before his fame, Taylor suffered from depression starting his senior year of high school and would spend 20 hours a day sleeping. Since then, he has impacted the lives of his fans all over the world. He's collaborated with many well-respected musicians, including Joni Mitchell. And another celebrity in her 70s has turned 77 today. Liza Minnelli's birthday is today. 
She is the daughter of Judy Garland, who was acclaimed for her performance in Cabaret. She was also nominated for an Academy Award for her role in The Sturro Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Other birthdays this week, March 13th, we got actor William H. Macy from Shameless and Rapper Common. March 14th, Simone Biles, Michael Caine, Quincy Jones, and Billy Crystal. March 15th, we got actress Eva Longoria, rocker Brett Michaels, and Will I Am. March 16th, Flavor Flav. The 17th, Rob Kardashian, Mia Hamm, Nat King Cole. And on the 18th, we have Adam Levine and Queen Latifah. And also a special shout out to my brother, Zach. Birthday, March 14th. Woo! Now that is a lot of birthdays. Yeah, that's a lot. And that guys, is a week of birthdays. If, if you would like to shoot out your birthday on air or a birthday on air, please message us on any social media platform or you can email Bri at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. You guys know that email. Get those birthday shout outs in. Happy birthday, everybody who yes. had those birthdays. Now, KS, we have a bunch of things going on. Next week, we're going to be uh, performing in Orlando. Yeah. We said with Panessa Young. Now, we're also looking at some other cities to come to. Um, do you have any idea of what cities you might like to come perform in if you had the choice to? If I had the choice to, uh, how many do I get to name? Ten cities. Okay, so... I would say right now my top 10 cities would be probably London for sure because they all been blowing me up over there. Um, somewhere in Australia, I'm not sure whether Brisbane or, or Melbourne because there's a lot of Australia fans. So there's my two. Uh, Ohio right now is on fire. Um, New Jersey is on fire, three. New Jersey would be great. Um, South New Jersey, York, Cherry South Hill. Jersey, yeah, Pennsylvania, um, Virginia. Uh, Orlando, obviously, and then um, probably Nashville and Louisville. Those are the top probably spots right now that you are definitely blowing things up. Go back to perform in Nashville. Uh, yeah. Now later, guys, on the show, you're gonna want to stay in for this because we have a new segment coming up that we're releasing in this show, and we have a special guest that's gonna be taking part in that segment. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to segue away from that, so KS. Why don't you tell the viewers a little bit about some of the projects that you've been working on, but most importantly, more than the artists, producing, making beats, there's a lot of opportunities to work with you, and how can a young individuals or artists um, do that in this industry today? Okay, so, uh, wow, projects. A new single, which we will be announcing soon, is coming out. Um, I have a couple other projects in the works um, for the rest of this year. Um, are we allowed to say the one that's coming at the end of the year yet or no? Or who, who it's with or anything or what? Uh, it's up to you. Okay, so <clears throat> officially this year, I'm going to be having a song come out with Rivka and Velvet Cash. Then that song will be at the end of the year, maybe, maybe towards the second half of the year. We haven't decided yet, but that project is coming out, guys. And Rivka's an amazing artist, and Velvet Cash is an amazing artist, but he's producing on this one. He just did the Hall of Fame party and opened up for Offset and Cardi B with Paul Ogenfeld. So that was super dope. Um, projects in the works. I just produced... Your beat owner for Glow Sticks. Glow Sticks is coming out, guys. A new owner track. Don't don't uh don't get too excited. What? What? It's fire. Don't get too excited. Also, I am producing right now a project for a brand new recording artist, Lane. Official Lane, guys, on all platforms. Make sure you follow her. Make sure you guys follow Lane. Yes. And, oh man, I'm just working on a whole bunch of syncs. I'm sending some stuff for Nick Jr. and Netflix. So um, hopefully those things get accepted and uh, they do well. And um, a couple other projects which I'm not allowed to disclose, but at least for now, you know, that's, that's a handful of stuff. Well, and sounds good. 
Yeah. And now you are producing beats, so if someone would want to reach out to you to contact you to uh, work on a beat production with you, a collaboration, how would they do that? So honestly, depending on the situation, but any any social media platform, for sure. Um, you can reach out to Cast Music Management as well. Um, and if you're looking to do projects, guys, because some people just want more than a beat production. Maybe you need a songwriter or you need, um, you know, whatever. Uh, consultations and branding and all that stuff. Uh, just reach out to us anywhere. Reach out to me anywhere and I'll get you in contact or somebody on one of the emails or the social media platforms will get you in contact with the right person that can help you get to, you know, what you're looking for. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into uh, Prison, our song together, Chaos and Owner. And when we come back on Sony Hulk Radio, we are going to go right into our segment, What Would You Do?, which I know everybody's loving that one. Guys, you can check the music video out for Prison by going on YouTube, hitting in the search bar, KS Spacebar Music, and go down after Rated R and check out Prison. Yep. And give that a subscribe, give it a like, give it a share. 
And uh, we look forward to your feedback online. Now, guys, what would you do is a new segment that we got going on, and our manager, Bree, created an awesome segment. All right. We are going to share some hypothetical questions, and we are going to answer them. This is the first time that we have read these questions. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. It's always funny. <laughs> I mess them up so bad. <laughs> if you could go back in time and give your parents advice before you were born, what advice would you give them? Hmm. If you could go back in time and give your parents advice before you were born, what advice would you give them? <laughs> Do I need to say that a different way? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Considering my parents are probably listening to this show, I got to be careful I know. what I say. Here. The text message is going to start coming through. Bing, 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 bing. Bad answer. Bad answer. Bad answer. I'm going to be uh, like, I didn't say it. Okay. So uh, be ready. Like, don't think that this is going to be what you thought it was going to be because I'm going to be yeah. crazy. <laughs> like, what about just, life if this stuff? you thought this was going to be easy, like oh, just, just forget man. about it because I'm crazy. I'm going like, to be crazy. No, not, uh, no. <laughs> oh, man. I guess, I don't know. I mean, is it just advice about, you know, you in general, like as, as uh, having you, or just like a life question? You know, like, like, do you want to have more what kids? If you or could, like, you know? What if you could know that, like, Facebook was going to come out? And you can go back and say, well, because you were going to live at a time where Facebook and Instagram was going to come back. Mm -hmm. You can go back and tell them, like, listen, in 20 years, there's going to be this thing called Facebook. So hey, um, if, if you, don't, get, you, if you do. don't start inventing it now, now, some guy named Mark Zuckerberg is uh, going to invent it. And you better get on top of that because it could be a good opportunity. Exactly. For you. That's what I'm talking about. Like... If if you could go back, like you could, if you could tell them any advice, like we know stuff now that like I'd be like, huh, Tesla, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, or exactly, something. Tesla, oh, man, it's the same kind of thing, guys. This is what's gonna make it better. Get Bitcoin, on that Bitcoin, Bitcoin, yes, yes, yes. Bree is on TikTok. Yes. Okay. All right. We're gonna get right into the next question. That was that was a complicated one. Linktree. Ooh, TikTok is killing it right that now. That was a complicated one. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, TikTok. That's you another one right there. Yeah. TikTok. Okay. All right. Next question. If you were reincarnated as an animal based on your personality, what animal do you think you would come back as? I already know the answer to this question. Oh, see, I already know mine. The ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> I for me, I would be a jaguar. I'd be a lion. See, yeah, my my personality is like I'm like smooth, but at the same time I'm like ferocious. But at the same time, you know, I'm like athletic and agile. You know what I'm saying? I'm like a jaguar. We're <laughs> tuning back real quick <laughs> as another social media commentator says that Swampland. Because that would have been smart. If you bought Swampland back in the day, buy more yeah. Swampland, then you could have like owned half of Florida. Yeah. I mean, Florida, if you had all those things, you'd be super, super rich. You know what right I'm saying? Now. Imagine if you bought the Everglades. Yo, or Space X. Space. Oh. Why are we going back to that question? Let's move on. So, so you would be a what animal? I would be a jaguar. Okay. A little bit of everything. Jaguar. You know, strong, agile, cunning, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> Ferocious, you know what I'm saying? That's like me. You're like, oh, he's such a nice guy. You get on my bad side. You're like, oh, I'm messing with that. I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And, then I'm and they are coming in like crazy off of Facebook and Instagram, guys. We have yes. one comment that would be an alligator, Ooh. and we have one that would be Mr. Mowgli. <laughs> Mr. Mowgli. Yes, we would come back as Mr. McGlini. <laughs> uh huh. What do you wish grew on trees if money was not an option? Well, is money was money not an option? So like you didn't need money, so you didn't need money to grow on yeah. trees, or is it like you have can get anything to grow on trees, but the one thing you can't have is money? And like, how big could it be? You know what I mean? Like, because like a tree can only get but so big. So like, I don't know. I would probably do something. Oh, oh, okay, gold. Gold. That's from Jill there you on go. TikTok. That's Jill. not a bad one. Jill, that that's that's gold trees. What if gold the tree trees. could be gold? Yeah. That could be 
That'd be awesome. That'd be, yeah, gold tree. Hmm. So I think gold, right? Yeah. So uh, maybe I got to give an answer. Did you give an answer? No, because I saw Jill as a gold. Uh, I get Jill's from answer. yeah. Oh, um, I'd probably say something that I would need all the time that I wouldn't have to buy, like food. Like if all your food could be born on tree, then you don't got to buy food no more. Well, what if you could get like chicken cutlets off a tree? Because then it was yeah. like you know, because I mean, fruit you could only have to make your stomach upset. It'd be a chicken branchlet. <laughs> a chicken branchlet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd have to cut it down anyway, so. So my Uncle Gary says that gold coins. Oh, yeah, gold. Well. I mean, dang, we got a lot of people in here trying you to get know. rich. Could you imagine gold coins like mangoes on a Ooh. tree? Oh, are they seasonal gold coins? Or does it just grow all the time? And how long does it take to grow? And how much do you get out of it? You know what I'm saying? Like That's right. How many do they yield? Yeah. Like, and are there bad ones? Like, I mean, gold, you can't really have a bad gold coin, like an apple. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, sometimes we, get bad You can't stuff. have a rotten gold coin. You get a gold one, then you get a bronze coin. And also, <laughs> animals can't probably eat chew through gold. Unless, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd still take bronze, even if the gold came out bad. Or it came silver. Out like a bronze piece. We'll or take silver. a silver yeah, tree. I'll take, yeah. a silver tree. No, I'll take a second place tree. I'll, no take a, I'll take a platinum tree, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are moving on to the next question. And that is, if you could live in anyone's head for 15 minutes... Who would you choose and why? It would probably be nobody because, I don't know, people are probably just sick. You know what I mean? After the whole Idaho thing, this Murdoch yeah, case. I'm not going to Idaho. I'm like, I wouldn't want to go to somebody's to head. You know, you don't know what to think. The nicest person in the world could be the most freakiest, craziest person ever. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, that person's so nice. And in their head, they're like, hmm, I wonder what would it be like to hang my dog? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know what people are thinking inside their head, even though they hide stuff. So I wouldn't want to go in anybody's head. No. It's, I would definitely probably want to go in Elon Musk. I think that, I would be, that would be a cool virtual tour for like an hour. He's probably thinking about a billion things. He's like, how could I take this and make this, that, and that? How can I, I take probably, that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, my brain would probably explode going to somebody's head like that. <laughs> we have an explosion brain on aisle five. Yeah, like all the smart stuff that he's come up with and invented. I mean, his, his brain is probably like square root times the centrifugal force over the pi <laughs> times the XB2. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like algebra seven. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, so that, what would you do? Wait until next week. And we are moving right along into National Days. Today is National Check Your Batteries Day, which honestly, my battery is looking pretty good. Check Your Batteries Day is celebrated on the second Sunday in March. While this holiday may seem like it was created by a battery company to raise sales, it was actually created to raise awareness about testing your batteries in various and <coughs> appliances and having working batteries. This device, these devices alert you to potentially life-threatening scenarios, allowing you to ac evacuate your family. However, they must be routinely tested, typically by pressing a button, to ensure proper operation. Check your batteries, they serves as a reminder to check your batteries in our homes and ensure they are working perfectly well. This is one national day that can save lives. Let's also shout out all the hardworking moms out there. Today is National Working Moms Day. It's a day to celebrate all the mothers that work for their children, the teachers, the doctors, the accountants, the cashiers, and yes, even the housewives and homemakers. All of them work. All of them are role models. Even beyond their paid jobs, mothers tend to assume the roles of substitute teachers, first daters, cooks, cleaners, and more. This is why we support their businesses, recognize all that they do, and express how much it means on this day. Other national days this week, guys, that you definitely don't want to miss. March 13th, we got National Napping Day. <laughs> like, I love yeah, that you don't want to miss that. March 14th, <laughs> National Potato Chip and Pie Day. Not the number. Uh, sorry, the number, not the snack. But it is also National Blake a Pie Day. Oh, I said Blake. Bake a Pie Day. How convenient is that? Blake a Pie. Blake a Pie. <laughs> March 15th, Eyes of March. 
March 16th, National Panda Day. March 17th, St. Patty's Day. With that comes National Corn Beef and Cabbage Day. And March 18th, guys, Awkward Moments Day. Like the one I just kind of had where I messed up. And Forgive Mom and Dad Day. And as you can tell, guys, we read this live on air, so like this isn't pre-recorded. We haven't script, we haven't read through the script, so sometimes we do have live bloopers, which is cool. Bloop 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 bloop. All right, guys. So we have a brand new segment, Woo! and we are really excited. We've invited a very special guest to be here with us today and sit in the hot seat. <laughs> this new segment is called Hot Seat. Hot the hot seat is where our guests will sit and answer random questions about themselves as fast as they possibly can and as honestly as po as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. Some questions might be harder, harder than others, and hopefully none will be embarrassing. Minimal time will be given to think, and we will be bringing Lane onto the Woo! show. So let's see if Lane is ready to join us. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Lane. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Even better, even better. So welcome to the first ever edition of the Hot Seat on mm -hmm. the Journey with KS right here on Sony Hulk Radio. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm so pumped up. Would you like to give any special shout outs or last words before you start this segment? <laughs> Sound a little nervous there? You a little nervous? You excited? I'm excited. I'm very nervous, but I'm very excited. There's a hundred million people listening right now. Holy cow, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that shoot, I wish there was. <laughs> okay, all right. So KS is going to read you off a question, and you are going to give the answer to the best of your ability. And if you don't have an answer at all, you can just say, you know, I don't have an answer at all. All right. All right. What's your dream job? My dream job would be to be a marine biologist. I would love to work with like sharks and stuff like that and study marine life. Okay. Okay. If you could move anywhere in the world, where would you go? Oh my gosh. Come on now. Everybody should know the answer to this. Obviously, the Bahamas. The Bahamas? Yeah. It's like that. That's heaven. Right. Okay. If you could be any superhero, who would you be and why? I honestly would choose Batman, I think, just because he has a lot of edge to him, and I feel like he can take a lot, so I feel like you need to be like Batman in today's society. You gotta have thick skin. Okay, okay. Hmm. Would you rather be able to fly or time travel? Okay, that's a tough one, but I... Huh. Or what about the future, though? Don't you want to see where we go to? Well, I'd love to see the future as well. <laughs> because I feel like this generation, um, we can't really do relationships. I feel like I feel like it's pretty bad. <laughs> so I'd love to see what it looked like in like 70 years, how that would be going. Okay, okay. Hmm. Give three words to describe yourself. Hmm. I would say that I'm a pretty loving person, I'm silly, and I'm a bit ditzy when it comes to some things. Okay. Mm, if you could have dinner with any one person, alive or dead, who would it be and what would you ask them? Oh, okay. I would have dinner, I think, with Adam Sandler, and I would ask, <laughs> I would ask him, how is he actually so funny? Like, he's like, <laughs> like, like it's not the movies. I don't know. Okay, okay. Um, if you could pick any celebrity to be president of the United States, who would it be? I would choose Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> you can really turn the world upside down. <laughs> I yeah. Like it. <laughs> yeah. A whole different atmosphere. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, she brings a whole nother atmosphere. Hmm, what does it take for someone to gain your trust? 
I feel like after someone loses my trust, they have to prove to me multiple times that they'll be willing to put the work in to gain it back. They can't just, you know, kind of request it and then shake it off. Okay. Hmm. I would say I like that answer. And so let me ask you a quick question. Yeah. Now, you are also, right, you're also going to be a recording artist starting very soon, right? Correct. That's correct. Okay. And who who are you working with right now and, and what kind of song are you trying to come out with? I'm working with KS Music. Okay. Music um, and Cass Weinbrand. And the song, did you ask what's the song I'm producing or what's the song they're helping me produce or what kind of song it is? Yes. It's going to be... It's going to be kind of like a breakup song, you know. Every teenage girl typically goes through this. But it's about a breakup and just kind of recovering from that. Kind of just letting your feelings out, you know. But it's going to be upbeat. It's not going to be anything too sad. Oh, okay. And uh, sorry, we had a little technical difficulties. We are back to the questions. I figured I'd ask you a little bit about what you had going on since I okay. knew that you were doing some music. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm very excited for my music journey. I'm super pumped up. I think it's going to be a hit and everybody's going to be able to really relate to the song, which I love that when it comes to music. Awesome. Okay, so we got about five more questions for you. You ready to continue with the hot seat? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so if you could relive any day in your life, which would it be? Now, that is a, <laughs> that's a very tough question. But if I had to think about it, I don't think there's a day I would choose to relive because my best days are yet to come. Okay. And have you ever broken any bones? Okay, silly story. I actually broke my foot walking down pa patio steps on a flat ground. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Yeah, that was, <laughs> it was very crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your biggest turnoff? My biggest turnoff from experience, it's when a person is rude and their ego is so big and they flex everything. I literally hate that. Yeah, that's that's definitely the worst. Yeah. And, and what's your guilty pleasure? Oh my gosh. So I would have to say reality TV, like mm -hmm. The Bachelorette or Love Island. Like I could watch that all day. Okay. Okay. And three more. Let's see. What is your all-time favorite movie? Oh my gosh, this is an obvious. The Hunger Games. <laughs> okay, that's listen. It's a great movie. Yeah. A great series or yeah, whatever you would call it. Yeah. Okay. And how do you deal with stress? Well, it's constantly on my mind all the time, and then sometimes it'll make me not eat. But then I get everybody's advice, which helps me and. It kind of makes me realize the problems will never go away and they're always going to be there. It's just something like I've realized you have to deal with at the end of the day. It's a part of life, something we can't escape, you know? Yeah. So you kind of have to face them. Okay. And last question of the hot seat. Are you nervous for this one? I'm super nervous. <laughs> what do you mean you've been doing great so far? And Wait, what would you say? I said you've been doing great so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the final question. If you had one day left to live, what would you do? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that's a that is a tough one. Honestly, if I had one day left to live, I would probably wake up and pray. I would eat all my favorite foods, and I would spend it around everybody that I love, and I would tell them to give my money back to organizations, especially the ones that have to do with dogs. I'm a big dog lover. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. So that wraps up the hot seat, and you are officially the first ever, ever on the hot seat segment, and we're wondering who is going to come in next week. So we're excited about your new song coming out. 
I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped up. And thank you guys so much for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we're so happy that you chose to take the journey with us. But we most importantly want you to know that we're happy to take the journey mm. with you. Well, thank you guys so much. I truly can say that I'm very blessed. And we will speak to you soon. Thank you for coming on the journey. All right. Thank you. Later. All right, guys. That was Lane. Uh, she's awesome. She's got new music coming out. She's mm. working with KS. Random facts of the day. We have the elephant is the only animal with four knees. And the highest point in Pennsylvania is lower than the lowest point in Colorado. The highest point in... Ooh, dang. Really? Mm. I never knew that. Yeah. So, KS, one more time for the viewers. Where can we find you on social media? Where can we find your music? Where can we find you next Thursday? And who's getting a TikTok shout out? Okay, guys. So, if you don't follow me already... Facebook, it is KS. YouTube, KS Music. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is I'm KS Music. That is I M K S Music, guys. Now you can find my music. It's available on every digital streaming service. Doesn't matter if you're international or not. And you have whatever Apple Music, Amazon, Google, iTunes. I'm on everything, as well as iTunes and Touch Tones. And the bars and restaurants. I think they're called <laughs> iTunes or iTunes or iSomethings. And uh, yeah, guys, TikTok shout out time. So big shout out to James Houston Jr. We also got a big shout out to Rocco's underscore modern. We got a big shout out to Real Zakari 87, Mama Chelsme, Lily of the Sound, Madison Cooley, Arik Dot. F. We also got Oh Hey Emily. We got Official Lane. We got Nikki Six Two Thousand and Three. We also got do, 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 do. Sting Like a Bree, guys. Make sure you follow Bree. She's right now on TikTok. New to TikTok. Yeah. Our manager, KS Music MG. Yeah. Gmail.com. And also follow Jill Beans. That's J. I think it's I L Y B N S two one six J L L Y guys. Now, super shout out to CMF Brands guys. You can check them out at www.cmfbrands.com. And if you haven't worked with Sandy, you better work with her now. Get your uniforms. Get your shirts. Get your jerseys. Get your bags. Get your tune-ups. Get your oil change. Whatever you want. You can get it at cmfbrands.com. Make sure you guys check it out. So we are always looking for people to invite on air with us or even join our team. So if you or anybody you know might be interested, email us at ksmusicmgt at gmail.com. Thank you for listening to The Journey with KS right here on Sony Hulk Radio. We look forward to having with you guys with us on The Journey every Sunday right here, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, Standard time. time. And all episodes are on YouTube at The Journey. Hit that space bar with KS, and we will see you guys next week right here at 8 p.m. Peace. Peace. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey with KS. It's the journey. It's the journey. It's the journey with KS.